So yeah, the discussion in breakout room three on monitoring and evaluation discussed what's currently being done by countries to, to track progress on their cholera national plans or other cholera plans they have in place. What's feasible when it comes to monitoring and evaluation and data protection is what's being proposed. Ah, yes, I can certainly start my video. <laughs> yeah, is what's being proposed by the GTFCC realistic? What's feasible to, to collect in terms of ME? And then finally, what role the CSP platform can have in supporting ME? I think one thing that came up very clearly from the beginning is that it's important to consider the coordination uh, within the country on ME from the very beginning. Every country has different government departments involved. They all implement and collect monitoring data differently. Uh, so we need to discuss this coordination and how to centralize it um, at the very beginning during the planning stages. If there's a key department that can be identified who can centralize with this within the government, this might facilitate ME a lot better. It's also very important at this stage to ensure that the ME component is sufficiently funded that costs not just to implement the activities are included, but the data collection that you might require for m &E that doesn't come alongside implementation needs to be funded for. And it was one suggestion was that if countries who are already implementing their NCPs can share very high level costs for the m and &E components, this might be useful to take to the table with other countries. Um, another great point that came up um, from countries that are already, that people have experience of m and &E in countries, was that it's going to be very important to use existing systems and data collection that's already in place. Uh, this is particularly true for surveillance. There's also some data for OCV and less so for WASH. But there's a lot of saying that we don't need to create always new mechanisms for this, new data collection. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. So we need to map what's there for each country and how we can use this. Um, another great conversational point was how to learn from the m &E of existing platforms and organizations both within cholera, so particularly we should look at the existing frameworks used by UNICEF's regional platforms, but also other diseases like polio, measles, malaria, where they have standardized indicators and clear frameworks for guidance to give to countries. Find out what's worked from them, what can we learn, and for cholera, what indicators could we use that are already being collected? Um, and I think there's another good point that was brought up here by several countries is that there is some monitoring already being done, particularly from mass and preventative OCV campaigns. So we should see what ended up being feasible for them and how it went. Then we discussed quite a lot about feasibility for m and &E. Sorry, just checking. Um, and a big issue for that is what level you're collecting the data at. So national surveys and routine surveillance don't often collect the type of data you need, particularly maybe for WASH, or often in the area you need, so for hotspots. We might not be collecting the very specific location, geographical location and granularity of detail. So this is, this is certainly gonna be a feasibility issue. Um, another one is that it will be important to make sure that the m &E includes indicators on the speed and completeness of the monitoring themselves. Um, and finally, of course, the ever continuing feasibility for m &E is gonna be the problem of distinguishing suspected from confirmed cases. So there's definitely work to be done in this area. And when discussing the role the CSP could play, I think this was really interlinked with many of these points that were brought up. But a particularly important question that came up was how was the CSP going to collaborate with existing stakeholders in country like MSF and UNICEF, UNICEF but particularly would the M CSP play a larger role coordinating ME at a regional level across different countries? 